The 2024-2025 NFL schedule just dropped a few days ago, and we are already talking about Taylor Swift and the NFL again. I thought I was done. I really thought I was done talking about Taylor Swift and the NFL and Travis Kelsey all together, but the season hasn't even started yet, and we already have our next Taylor Swift story. This was yesterday from JPA Football Update. The NFL Vice President of Broadcast Planning, Mike North, says that the NFL took Taylor Swift's concert scheduling into account to make the 2024-2025 schedule. Taylor Swift could attend up to 14 of the Chiefs games this upcoming season. Now, I understand a certain point of view on this is that Taylor Swift, she chooses her concert venues. A lot of them are NFL stadiums. Uh, in this article, they mentioned the Miami Dolphins Stadium. In this article from CBS Sports, why the NFL took Taylor Swift into consideration when making the 2024 schedule. We have a lot of nonsense here, uh, but the NFL Vice President of Broadcasting Planning, Mike North, said that the lead needed to factor in her U.S. tour dates when making the 2024 season schedule per Fox Sports. There is no way a star of her stature is rescheduling her tour for anything less than a natural disaster. This is the NFL saying that Taylor Swift is bigger than the NFL itself. Now, I'm not a Swifty. I don't care about Taylor Swift, but it is, it's hard for me to imagine that an NFL stadium would put Taylor Swift concert at top priority over an NFL game. Swift is set to have concerts at the Hard Rock Stadium, the home of the Miami Dolphins, three days in a row from Friday, October 18th through Sunday, October 20th. She will then travel to New Orleans for three consecutive days of shows at the Caesars Superdome of the New Orleans Saints. Uh, from October 25th through the 27th. The final leg of her U.S. tour uh, return wraps up at Lucas Oil Stadium, the home of the Indianapolis Colts, from November 1st through November 3rd. How the heck are we at a point where NFL stadiums are going to prioritize Taylor Swift's concerts over NFL games? I understand she is like the world's biggest, biggest music rock star right now. She is huge. The NFL made sure to send uh, Miami... Uh, made sure to send made sure to send Miami north to Indianapolis to play the Colts in week seven because of Taylor Swift's concert. The Saints went out west to play the Chargers in Los Angeles on week eight and the Indi Indianapolis northwest to Minnesota to face the Vikings week nine. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why is the NFL why is the NFL and their stadiums prioritizing Taylor Swift over? Over NFL games. Well, here's what I think was why. And it, I, I don't know the official reason why. This is just my two cents into this. It is because the NFL saw the, saw the I don't want to say outrage, but they, they saw the uptick in probably viewership when Taylor Swift was attending home games in Kansas City for the Chiefs game because her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, is arguably the best tight end in the league right now. Super Bowl, back-to-back -back Super Bowl defending champions. The Kansas City Chiefs in the past five years have been arguably the best team in the league other than, you know, Tampa Bay for a, what, one year? And then when Cincinnati knocked them out of the playoffs so Cincinnati can go to the Super Bowl against the Rams. But we're looking at the Chiefs' schedule. The Chiefs' schedule here for the 2024-2025 NFL season, you will notice that the Chiefs have a lot of home games, and they also do not play on the road in consecutive more than two times. They, they only have consecutive two games at a, t at a time where they are on the road. They are never on the road for three consecutive games before they go back home. So we have uh, at home against the Ravens, at home against the Bengals to start the season. Then they travel to Atlanta. And then they travel to LA. At home against the Saints, bye week. At San Francisco, in Las Vegas, and then back at home against uh, the Bucks. Back at home against the Broncos. In Buffalo, in Carolina, then back at home, back at home again, at Cleveland, Back at home against the Texans, and then at Pittsburgh, at Denver. A lot of home games. Look at this. 
On Netflix? On Netflix? Here's the thing, man. <laughs> the Sunday ticket is on YouTube. The Sunday ticket is on YouTube. You remember last year, I, and I know th Thursday night games are always on Prime, and, and it's been that way for the past three years. We had that, what, two, one regular season game on Peacock last year. And then we had a playoff game exclusively on Peacock. And there was massive uproar over that. And I know that playoff games are all nationally televised. Except for that one that was exclusive to Peacock. And yes, you can get you, you can do the free trial for Peacock. And you can watch the playoff game under that free trial. Whatever. It still pissed people off. Now, I do have Peacock. So I was able to watch the games that were on Peacock. But still... There's a lot of people that don't. And there's a lot of people that spend a lot of freaking money to watch the NFL on the Sunday ticket now on YouTube. And they used to do it on DirecTV as well. Uh, the Chiefs are playing um, on, on a, um, I'm assuming this is a Thursday night because it's on Amazon. And then on Netflix. This is the first time I'm seeing this on Netflix. What are we doing? Uh, and then this one is to be determined. They're not sure where that's going to be broadcasted yet. But a lot of home games... Um, for the Chiefs, and they never spend more than two weeks on the road before they go back home. And there we have Taylor Swift because of all these schedule rearrangements, because of Taylor Swift's concerts at NFL stadiums. Now Taylor Swift could attend up to 14 of the Chiefs' home games this year. If you're trying to tell me that this is only because the NFL is trying to schedule around Taylor Swift and there isn't some ulterior motive to make sure that Taylor Swift is more than available to go to Kansas City to be up in that luxury box for the viewers, for, for the TV station, to pan up to Taylor Swift up in that VIP box every time Travis Kelsey does something on the field to see her celebration, to see her hanging out with her friends, to see her hanging out with Blake Lively. Like it, I would, I would say ignorance. It is ignorance, in my opinion, if you think that the NFL only took into account her tour dates and also didn't take into account that the fact that they would love to have Taylor Swift at the Chiefs home games so that they can show her nationally televised. Well, not nationally televised, but to show her on TV for the Chiefs games. In my opinion, this is absolutely ridiculous for two reasons. Why the heck is the NFL worried about scheduling games at stadiums that she has scheduled her tour at? What are we doing? What are we doing in current year in 2024 where the NFL is playing second fiddle to their own stadiums to Taylor Swift's freaking concerts? This is asinine this is ridiculous i don't get i i do not get the the love affair for taylor swift maybe i'm just out of touch i don't get it but it's the fact that the nfl and the nfl stadiums are prioritizing taylor swift over their own nfl games it is outrageous but maybe i'm just out of touch but what do you guys think do you guys think this is crazy do you guys think that the nfl is just purposely manipulating the schedule so that taylor swift can go to more chiefs home games like i do let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it share with a friend who you think would enjoy it subscribe to this channel if you're new and we'll talk to you again soon